Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, it is amazing to continue to watch things that we have been talking about for months, beginning to come to pass before our very eyes. Now, this should not surprise us because we know where things are headed according to our Bibles. Now, I am not a financial expert or an expert on the world markets, but it does not take an expert to see what is going on right now all over the world. It is not a coincidence that over 90% of independent countries have recently completed or are currently doing a pilot for CBDCs or central bank digital currencies. And 11 independent countries have already dumped their previous form of currency and are, they're already using a central bank digital currency. Now, why is this happening? Well, because they know something is coming. They know that the current system is about to collapse. So they are getting ready for the rise of a new system. One the Bible talks about will come during the coming tribulation period. One that will be able to control all buying and selling. One that will eventually have a one world digital currency to connect the whole world to this one system. Anyways, for months, we have been talking about what is coming. And folks, it is beginning to come to pass now. Folks, remember that when things happen to America, the United States of America, it tends to affect the entire world. When America's economy collapses, the, this current world order is over. So here in the United States, everybody is talking about what just happened with the Silicon Valley Bank. Folks, this is a game changer. This is one of the dominoes that I believe is going to lead to many more dominoes tipping over in the coming days, weeks, and months, Lord willing. But in case you didn't know, it's all over the place now. The Silicon Valley Bank just collapsed. This actually marks uh, the worst bank failure since the Great Recession of 2008. And as expected, once this occurred, now you're starting to see a lot of people that are nervous. Uh, you can see recently this post, Justin, from the Washington Post. Silicon Valley bank failure raises fear of broader financial contagion. So now they're talking about, well, this wasn't, this isn't it. This is just the beginning of many more dominoes to follow. And this is just in from the Business Insider. Silicon Valley Bank imploded in a single day, which it did. It could just be the tip of the iceberg. Again, many more dominoes to follow in the coming days, weeks, and months, Lord willing. What's even more incredible is just before the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank, an expert actually had came out, it was all over mainstream media, and he had warned of a coming crash coming within 60 days. Here's one just in from Fox Business. Stock market will crash in 60 days, best-selling author on Lehman Collapse warns. Uh, you saw him all over the place on the different news outlets warning of this coming crash. Um, and his 60-day warning, so March is when he gave it. So we're looking at, he's talking about in the next 60 days, so March, April, May-ish, leading into May of 2023, warning of a complete crash. And it doesn't end there, folks. Did you know that the United States Treasury Secret uh, Secretary Yellen just warned uh, Congress of an economic collapse due to United States debt? Like you just see here, article just in from Fortune, Yellen warns, of economic and financial collapse if America defaults on its debt. So where is all of this headed? Well, folks, we know what the Bible says. Again, 
This current system, it must collapse. And once America collapses, the rest of the world will follow. And we see what just happened with Silicon Valley Bank. And that's just one of the dominoes that tipped over. More are coming. And we have seen the expert come that came out and said, all over mainstream media, warned of a complete crash that is coming in the next 60 days. And folks, I want to reiterate, the reason that over 90% of independent countries have completed or are currently doing the pilot runs for the CBDCs or central bank digital currencies is because they know that this ship is sinking. They know the current world order will collapse and they are getting ready for the new system. Again, one that will control all buying and selling. One that will be able to track everyone at all times. One that will be able to reward you or punish you if you do not obey the system. Folks, everything is getting set up for the coming empire of the Antichrist. The most important thing you can do right now, if you're not saved, is you need to get saved right now. We know what the Bible says is going to happen, and it's beginning to come to pass before our very eyes right now. All I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now to everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that the Jew could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.